Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about triggers in PostgreSQL. So let me first of all introduce you to a trigger. So a trigger is basically a function in PostgreSQL, which is invoked automatically when an event associated with a table occurs. So what I mean by an event is suppose uh, an insert operation or delete operation uh, delete or update or a truncate operation. So what do I mean by automatically and what do I mean by when an event occurs? So for example, we had a company table which uh, we have been working on throughout the beginning since the beginning. So for example, uh, we have a company and uh, we have certain employees working in it. So suppose an employee changes his address and uh, he reports to the you know to the database manager that my address has been changed so please uh, change it from the database so what the company does it it changes the address but it also you know uh, you it also stores the new and the old address so that it could actually verify that um, if the address is actually changed or not or what it basically does it wants to do an audit if it is correct or not so what it does is that uh, when suppose the employee comes he says that uh, he wants an update so the update is made on the table and uh, a row is also added in another table so that you know uh, it could be later checked and verified that uh, if it if it if it actually was uh, true or not so what do i mean by here is that uh, suppose that uh, we have this table company so we have an employee number four that is priya he stays in gujarat now suppose if i change it to delhi so it gets delhi here for the time being and the result is stored in some another table with the old address and the new address so when the team verifies that uh, it is actually delhi it remains the same otherwise it is rolled back so what is the basic purpose of a trigger is that suppose an event occurs and we want to automatically add some event some rows in another table so that we could verify it later for example if um, an employee salary changes and uh, there's a trigger that if the salary changes someone should get a notification so this is the basic use of a trigger so we'll just um, see how to create a trigger so a trigger in postgresql is basically a special user defined function so it binds to a table so to create a new trigger we must define a trigger first so a trigger function is basically created by a trigger statement so we could create a trigger by the create statement uh, command so um, so first of all we create a normal function that is a user defined function and then we bind it to the trigger, trigger statement and we return a trigger so a difference between the user defined function that we have been doing in the beginning of this advanced tutorial and a trigger is that a user defined function needs to be called and a trigger function automatically invokes when an event occurs so i'm i hope that um, the event is particularly clear to you so we'll just uh, make a trigger so that uh, you know we could illustrate the example and uh, you know it could be better understood so where and why we need triggers so trigger is a rough idea to give a trigger basically used when you want to change some information or you want to you know automatically add an information to some other table so that you could verify it later or when you want that a particular piece of information should automatically you know generated should be generated to some another table when particular event occurs when an event occurs you want to automatically add some data to the other table so that is why we use triggers so first of all let us start by you know creating a table that is emp underscore logs i have already created it you could uh, you know create this table it has only four fields one is the id which is the primary key again which would be same as the company table old address is the address which was uh, previously held by the employee new address is the new address that it demanded for and the name is the name of the employee so you could create this table it has only four columns so i'll just start by creating a function 
so we'll just create a function create or replace function log underscore change so this is the function and it return a uh, trigger uh, trigger as so to create a function we just need to start our body and we begin so we use if new dot address new is a keyword which is particularly used with a trigger so new means the new address which would be updated later on so if new address is not equal to old address this is the not equal to operator in sql we have learned about it earlier on then what do we do is we insert some values into the new table that we created insert underscore emp logs values would be old id would be old address would be new address and it would be old name so this is where it automatically automatically gets invoked and the values of these are stored in the new table whenever the new address is not equal to old address when we update the table so we just end if and uh, we return new that is the new value and we end and we close our body and the language would be plpg sql so you could just run this and terminate it or a string oops i didn't this is body and just run it returns successfully so you need to just remember this name because we'll create a trigger and we'll use the same name for the function and you could not see it anywhere here because I guess oh yeah you have this trigger function here so you could just see it from here so this is a trigger function that is created now and you see that the same thing that we created so we just create a trigger now so what do we do to create a trigger that is create trigger loc underscore changer and we do it before update that is before updating the table we insert the values into the new table on our table that is the company table and we use it for each row it should be defined on each row and we just execute procedure that we currently made that is log underscore change and this is how we create a trigger and you can see that it has successfully created a trigger now so you could see we have uh, a trigger now and you could see emp logs we have an empty table and now i'll tell you the functionality of a trigger so you could just do a select star from company and you see that we have four Priya Gujarat now I will change the address of Priya from Gujarat to Delhi and we'll just see what happens <coughs> so we do update company set address equal to Delhi where ID equal to 4 and execute you see successful and we just confirm if it has actually changed and you could see that Priya is now in Delhi she has requested to be in Delhi and just do it another for uh, Hina we'll just change it to Kashmir so you just do it uh, from here I guess if you could get it yeah so you just change it to Kashmir 
where id equal to 2 and successful we just do a select star again and you see that it is Kashmir now so we could see that we have altered these two addresses now so these are altered in the table so we could just see our emp underscore log table now and if you check the logs now you see we have two requests that are there for uh, the logs we could see that Hina as old address was Mumbai and the new address she demanded for is Kashmir while Priya her old address is Gujarat and the new address she wanted for is Delhi so if the company could actually verify this is to be true then they would change it permanently and just delete the record from here and if they find that it is not true they would just change it back to Mumbai so guys this was all about to do, uh, this was all about the triggers so triggers are uh, basically um, you know quite useful in normal SQL functions so we just you know, we just use triggers in day to day life for example if you want a particular action to happen at a particular time we use triggers for that I mean if you want to do something if you if we have a function that needs to be executed at 12 o'clock at night at each each and every day so that's the role a trigger could play at each and every night at 12 p.m. at 12 a.m. it could actually you know uh, execute a function automatically so we don't need to wait for 12 and just execute the function and then you know do our work so this could be done automatically by the trigger so guys this was the use of trigger so guys thank you for watching so subscribe for more and stay tuned